Hey everyone, in this video we're going to integrate cosine of 7x times the cosine of 2x solution. So whenever you have something like this where it's cosine of something times cosine of something else, uh, there's a formula you can use. It's one of the product to sum identities. So if you have cosine of a times cosine of b, this is equal to 1 half parentheses, and it's cosine of a plus b, so a plus b, and then minus, or rather plus, sorry, plus, <laughs> cosine of a minus b. So whenever it's cosine cosine, you add, right? So it's cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. In this particular problem, a is 7x and b is 2x. So plugging everything in, we have cosine of 7x, cosine of 2x, that's equal to 1 half, parentheses, let's be careful here, so this is cosine of 7x plus 2x, so 9x, plus cosine of, let's see, 7x minus 2x, so 5x. Did that really fast? Let's check our work. 7x plus 2x is 9x, boom, there it is. 7x minus 2x is 5x, boom, there it is. Now all we have to do is rewrite our integral and integrate. All of this is equal to this. So we can go ahead and pull out the 1 half. So it's 1 half. And we can actually break it up into two separate integrals, right? So it's 1 half cosine 9x dx. That's the first one. Plus, and then 1 half cosine 5x dx. That's the second one, right? That's this one here, distributing the 1 half. When you integrate um, cosine, you get sine, right? Because if you're integrating cosine, you're asking yourself, what's a function whose derivative uh, is cosine? Well, sine, that would be the answer. Now, if you have a number here, you can just divide by that number. So this is 1 half sine of 9x over 9. You can always do that when there's a number there. Plus 1 half sine of 5x over 5 plus c. So this is equal to... Uh, 9 times 2 is 18, so 1 18th sine of 9x, and then plus uh, 5 times 2 is 10, so 1 10th sine of 5x plus c, and that would be the final answer. That's it.